So the, the BEST trial is really about selecting the best embryo for the patient. We're taking one, um, one blastocyst that we've screened and is chromosomally normal, comparing that to a more traditional two blastocyst transfer. And the goal is really to have the same outcomes but do it more safely by, by having one baby at a time. So the, the BEST trial was a randomized control trial. We randomized the patients at the point where their embryos had reached the blastocyst stage. And most patients that started the study were able to reach that randomization stage. Um, at the time of our interim analysis, we looked at 100 patients that had been randomized to the two groups. And the outcomes um, in terms of ongoing pregnancy rate were almost identical. But the, the group that had two blastocysts transferred had a much higher twin um, pregnancy rate. Um, we're continuing with this study, and we've had 175 patients randomized to date, and those results still hold. That it's basically the same ongoing pregnancy rates and delivery rates, but um, there's no twins in the single embryo transfer group, and there's about 50% in the group that got two embryos transferred. So through 100 transfers that were completed, um, in the group that had one um, single euploid blastocyst transfer, their ongoing pregnancy rate was 69%, um, which is excellent, and they were all singletons. There was no monozygotic twins. And the group that had two blastocyst transferred had a very similar ongoing pregnancy rate of 67%, but 58% of those pregnancies were twin pregnancies. Um, now, why my mo most twin pregnancies do very well, and some patients are, are happy and have a good outcome, they do have higher risk of, of um, things that are avoidable. This is a very unique study. There's been at least six um, pretty large randomized trials comparing single embryo transfer to double embryo transfer. Um, none of them use this additional selection criteria of using um, aneuploidy to select against, to, to only select chromosomally normal blastocysts. So, um, we think that, that really if you're transferring two embryos and you're picking them the same way as you pick the one best to transfer, it's unlikely you're, you're ever going to get the same kind of results with single embryo transfer. But here we're really um, changing the rules of the game. We're actually using a different selection criteria to select the single best embryo. That's what the best trial is all about, to see if using this strategy of screening and selecting we can achieve excellent pregnancy rates, and, and that's what we're showing with the BEST trial. We think this will have a huge impact on the OBGYNs, also you know, on patients and the healthcare system in general. Um, having a singleton delivery is really the safest and, and best way to carry a pregnancy. Um, twin pregnancies are at higher risk of preterm delivery, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, um, maternal hemorrhage, um, that the babies that are born after twin pregnancies are at a higher risk of having to go to the NICU and require um, extensive medical treatment. So it's really safer to have a single, single baby at a time. And um, obstetricians that take care of these pregnancies, when they're twin pregnancies or even triplet pregnancies, they're, at, they're much more complicated, they're much more likely to be hospitalized or to be on bed rest. And those um, you know, are things that are avoidable now that we have an alternative when there really wasn't an alternative, and this was the, the, you know, the best way to achieve a pregnancy, that was acceptable. But we think that now when we can really get um, similar outcomes, but with um, transferring a single embryo at a time, um, it's where we can really avoid most of those complications.